Everybody's getting it, James G will even jack Cause I'm a beast on the track, when I fucking rap Okay, enough of this garbage, I'm causing a carnage I'm switching the barriers, I'm seeing the cabbage on these bastards Niggas, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Shim T And uh, what we're about to do is to break down the cover art of Bonaboy's um, album Twice Our Store Now, um, this album excites me, right? In every aspect so far that I have experienced From the cover art down to the songs that I have listened to. I haven't listened to all the songs yet, but um, for the ones I have listened to, they excite me, all right? So I want to do um, a reaction, a breakdown, an explanation of some of the things I have noticed in the cover art that I would like every other person to notice, all right? So um, let's start with um, Bonaboy's picture himself, all right? Bonaboy's picture itself on the um, um, cover art. You see Bonaboy, Obviously a giant, right? In the whole, um, in the terrain, in the escape, right? You see uh, the road, the path, saying Bona on the other side, saying boy. So he's going down his own path, his own way, as a giant coming through, right? Under the shoe, you see what would, what would um, be his footprint. The, um, the gorilla uh, symbol he always uses, right? The gorilla symbol he always uses. So now... That, that will be his footprint when he steps on the ground. Anywhere he steps, you'll know, okay, this is Bonaboy has gone through this place. You know, that, okay, the African giant has stepped through this place. Now, that's not the only thing you notice. That's not the only thing you notice. Now, if you look to the right, to the, to the right there's, um, uh, there are certain um, architectural structures, all right? And in one of them, you see this, uh, this uh, bronze work that is... Um, in the red in the red circle now that bronze work is ancient Bini uh, bronze work lots of Bini bronze works were carted away by the British were stolen by the British after they raided the Bini Empire and destroyed um, uh, all the, the industries broke down the Bini war which is which was said which is said to have been the longest war in human history now people are people a lot of um, a lot of historians have said that uh, that war was longer than the wall of China. You, you can check it up. You can check it up on your own, guys. You can check it up on your own, right? The ancient, wall, the wall of um, the Great Wall of, Bini, of the ancient Bini Kingdom. You can check it up. So these these bronze works were stolen. Now the Bini people. I grew up in Bini City. I was born in Bini City. I'm half Bini. I'm half Yoruba. So um, the um, the Bini people, all right. Every time an Oba died, every time a king died. They used to commission one of those bronze works for the um, Oba. So I think there are about 170 of them in number. So uh, this particular one, this particular one was, is also, I think, was also used as a first tax symbol, if I'm right. So yeah, that's, that, that's it. So that's what the bronze work. Now, right beside the bronze work, you see um, African architectural structure, specifically. Sudan Sahel uh, Sudan Sahel structures yes now this is important for me this is very important for me because you have narratives that talk about Africans being barbarians Africans being uncivilized before the Westerners came people think we were not wearing clothes we were just roaming on the road which is not true which is not true right there is a lot of greatness all right that um, goes that ripples through, not even ripples that floods through African history right our history did not start with colonization or with slavery no, that was merely a punctuation in our history. And even after this terrible phase that we are going through, we will still flourish. All right. So before any of the before any invasion, before any um uh colonization or westernization took place, this these structures you see are some of the evidences we have that we were civilized people, right? Now these um structures, these building structures are quite common in the Western in um, West Africa, all right. Sudan Sahel and um, Sudan Sahel structures. They were common among the Kanuri people, common am among the um, um, Aousa people, common among um, the Jinns, all right. And these uh, structures were also very common in Musa Mansa's um, Timbu uh, Timbuktu in Mali in the 14th century AD. Now, if you see, there are there are um, beams on the structure. There are beams on the structure, on these buildings, these ones here. There are beams there. The beams there were, were made so that um, in case the building will be modified. 
So those beams would be used to modify the structure of the building. They were mostly used, a lot of the taller buildings were mostly used for mosques. And there, there are several, um, there are several, um, should I say deviations, right? Several variants of this particular, of these structures. And I know for, I know for a fact that the outer variant is called Tubali. Yeah, Tubali. So, now this should tell you that we, that we actually lived in world cities. And a lot of us lived in world cities. So before the white scheme, the, the, the ancient Benin kingdom, before, before the wars were destroyed, the wars were said to be, to be one of the longest in human history, right? If not the longest, the longest in human history. Now, you also have these Sudan Sahel structures, uh, Sudan Sahel structures on Bonaboy's cover art. Now, to the right, you have the Egyptian pyramids and you have um, um, a bust of what looks like, I'm not sure because you can't see very clearly, either um, um, Tutmos, Pharaoh Tutmos, or um, Pharaoh Ram Ramses II. So, yeah, that, yeah, that took Moses or, or Ramses II. So I'm not sure which one it is because it's not so clear, all right? So, yeah, but what you have here on the right, on the, what am I saying, on the left, what you have here on the left is um, uh, Egyptian architecture, e Egyptian um, structures. Now, it has been said that the Egyptian, it has been said and it's, it's an established fact that the Egyptians were well ahead of their time. Now, these were Africans who largely impacted Greek civilization, right, and Greek philosophy. Long time, long time, long time before any um, westernization or anything of the sort. In fact, the earliest forms of writing, the earliest forms of medicine were found in um, these ancient Egyptian societies. All right. And when you hear of um, uh, ancient Egypt, like um, you hear of the pyramids, you hear of all of that, it wasn't just the upper Nile alone, it wasn't just Egypt alone. There was the Nubian region, the lower the lower um, Nile region, the, um, you had the, the Nubian kingdoms like Kush, um, like Axum, really great um, uh, powers, really great civilizations that were world powers at the time. All right. Talking about the, the ones to the right, the structures to the, to the right that I said um, are Sudan Sahel structures, right? One of the people who use them often were the Kanem people. And um, at, at the height of their power, the Sultan, the Sultan was um, one of the most powerful Sultans in, um, in, in, global, in, in, in the global sphere, like world politics. So you have, there's, there's a lot here. In this cover art, right? African culture all the way. Bonner boy showing the greatness of African culture, which I appreciate a lot, right? Because, like I said, when you hear about African history, it's mostly in um, negative context. People talking like we are back, like we are backward, like we are barbarians. So I love this cover art very much because it shows the greatness, the richness of African culture. So um, that's uh, what those are the things I noticed. On um, viewing the cover art, let me know if there's any other thing that you noticed, guys. So thanks for viewing, guys. God bless. Let me know if there's any other thing you noticed. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you. Pizzo on the track. I'm the one that make him run. I'm the one that drop it hot. Fuck with me and you get shot. They can get me if they plug. I'm the baddest of the lot. I'm the baddest of the lot.